Hey everyone, Fuzzy Bear Barian here, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the Zombie Army for Dead War Mission Dead Zeppelin Chapter 2 Long Way Down. I'll show you how to find the document, complete the heroic action, find the comic page, and find the zombie hand. We'll also complete the challenge, get 40 headshots with the rifle, and get the gold medal. For this, we only need it on difficulty easy, uh, and we'll also only need it on an enemy setup of one player. Take whatever weapon you want, but you definitely need to have a rifle so that you can complete the challenge. Perks wise, definitely put on the heavy perk. This will help you, there's lots of heavy weapons to pick up, so that'll make the mission go a lot faster. Also, combo extension and combo boost for the score, and for the other perks, whatever you want, but something to keep you healthy is pretty good. Apart from that, I'm using Boris because you don't really need a lot of stamina in this mission, and he's funny to listen to. So whenever I can use Boris, I'm pretty much going to. <laughs> Alright, there's not much to the challenge in this. The first collectible is in the first area, and we can complete the challenge in the first area as well. It's pretty much just aiming up heads and shooting heads until you get 40, and there's enough enemies in the starting area to do that. You don't really need to worry too much about your combo at this point. You'll get a huge combo in the final level because there's a swarm of enemies that come in. So you won't have a problem with combo boost and combo extension on, you won't have a problem getting a combo well over 100 in the final level, which will easily push you past the 100,000 score. So here, you can just focus on getting headshots. Of course, half the enemies here have uh, uh, armor on their heads, so you've got to take that armor off, but you know, whatever. <laughs> And I'm just going to track the challenge so we can see in the top left how many headshots we've got. Next up, this is where the document collectible is. The other thing I want to do is dismount these heavy weapons. There's a lot of heavy weapons around the place. You can dismount them and then drop them where you think you might be able to grab them and use them again later. I probably could have dropped that a little bit further around. Might get pushed back beyond that before we get our headshots, but oh, so <laughs> both shots went right around him. Best to go back a bit because it's very hard to shoot them when they're on the stairs. Good to take out the Grenadier fast if you can as well because he'll take some of your headshot kills but don't panic about it too much. There's tons of enemies to get headshots on in this level. You, If you don't get them all here you can get them in the next section. As you can see, already at 26, 27, 28. So not a difficult challenge at all. Pretty sure the heavy gunner will be out soon. Before backing off, I probably should have restocked. But there's the challenge completed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now we just need to take out the Grenadier and this heavy gunner. 
opportunity is pretty annoying. I like levels where you can get the challenge knocked off very early so that then you can just play the game however you want from that point forward. Alright, so we might take his weapon with us to the next section. There are lots of heavy machine guns in the next section too that you can pick up, but taking this with us just makes it all go a little bit faster. Now, when you're going up on here, I recommend crouching down here. That prevents any snipers from being able to get behind you and shoot, which forces them to all be in front of you or to the sides of you. Just makes it a little bit easy for you to just sit there and aim. If you're standing in the middle, you're likely to get hit. Gotcha. <laughs> So as you can see it kind of forces them all to jump to the front to aim to aim at you which then makes them easy pickings He's no more turret gunner See, now he can get me from behind because I stood up, whereas I should have just stayed here. Alright, the comic is in the next area, but to get to it we need to complete the objectives of this area, which are pretty easy, nothing really challenging here, especially if you've brought the heavy machine gun with you. So once we do that we can go downstairs but definitely restock first. There are heavy machine guns mounted around this place, we'll take one of them with us at the end. But yeah you can just pick them up and use them as you want, there's tons of them. Cause some cows. Which makes this really a really fun level to my mind. There is a key. All right, so now we have the key. We just go back upstairs and turn things on. You can drop this because I've used some ammo in it already, and pick up one that has no ammo used. Again, I'm not really worrying about combos until the final stage, because it doesn't really matter. 
Alright, we turn that on. Oh, actually, that turns on the other switch, so turn on both switches. That opens the door to where the comic is. Which is through here. Excellent! Oh, back on the cable car. Get up to that hangar. So now we have the document and the comic. We just have the heroic action and zombie hand to go, and they are both in the next stage. So we can proceed to the car, but the first thing I want to do is take the heavy mounted machine gun that is full has full ammo. Take that with me. There are more heavy machine guns where we're going, but when combined, I don't think I need a health, do I? No. When combined, all of those heavy machine guns plus this one just make the final level so easy. Again, crouch down in front of this thing to make sure your back is covered. There's going to be some snipe, uh, snipers and there's also going to be uh, on that bottom level up there where there's a guy standing. You have to protect him for the heroic action. And there's going to be launchers on the right hand side uh, that launch flaming skulls at you. But that's the zombie hand up there. On, you can only get it while you're going past here. Or maybe you can shoot it from up above, I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely get it while you're going past here. So the zombie hand's obtained now. We just have to complete the heroic action. You can see there's uh, any zombie you see on the platforms, get them. But the ones that matter the most are up there. The closer we get, there'll be a guy. There he is. Got to make sure that all of the zombies on this platform do not get to him. It's pretty easy, he's also shooting them. And you'll have also have to bear in mind that on the right, up, you saw the bullet go past them, there's turrets that are going to launch flaming skulls. They do find it a bit difficult, the first flaming skulls, to get you whilst you're crouched in this spot because you're kind of covered to the right, but they can get you like that. Some of them will get stuck on the right side. So we saved that guy and got the heroic action. So that's all the collectibles done. Now if you stand here, a lot of those skulls, they can't track you through those two beams on the right, but you should be able to take these turrets out pretty fast anyway, before they're too much of a danger to you. You see how it can't kind of get to me? Now I said snipers appear here. They have appeared here for me before, but this time they didn't. Maybe they don't on one player mode. I previously played this on four player mode. So yeah, just keep your eye out for spawning snipers, but maybe you'll be lucky like I was here and not have to deal with them. This machine, it doesn't remember us, does it? From last time. I wouldn't expect so. Make sure to take our heavy machine gun. And pretty much the combo can begin I think we can keep the combo going once we, yeah, once that survive the ambush comes up. What I'd like to do is get some of these heavy mounted machine guns off their mount and just leave them lying around ready to be quickly picked up. Take out those suiciders first. We'll drop this machine gun here and we'll go grab the other one. And from here on, it's just kill and keep your combo going. Very easy to do, they're, they're, the zombies are going to be everywhere. So our score is over 80,000 now. We'll easily get to a hundred thousand.
and the gold medal is only a hundred thousand so we've absolutely smashed it here so long as you keep your combo going in the last level you'll easily do it and even if you even if you make a mistake and do have a few misses it's probably not going to hurt you at all uh so yeah don't don't worry about it too much very easy score to get in this level And remember, uh, headshots and explosive multi-kills will give you a lot of combo score if you go for, want to go for that. So now our combo is over 100 and our score is rapidly accelerating. Okay, well, one, one to go. I thought that was it. One to go. He's standing up there doing his own thing. And there's absolutely no need to reload, so I don't know why I did that. We can just exit straight away. And that's it. We've obtained all collectibles, completed the challenge, and obtained the gold medal. A pretty fun level, this one. Alright guys, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Zombie Army 4 Dead War video.